Hi guys, I'm Emily. I'm also one of your co-leaders for this week and I wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of content strategy, um, what makes a good content strategy, and how it can best benefit your organization. So in their look at connecting best practices in public relations to social media strategies for academic libraries, Peacemaker, Robinson, and Hearst found that despite the documented prevalence and perceived value, the current state of social media use by libraries can be characterized as ad hoc and somewhat experimental. They found in their own experience um, at Virginia Commonwealth University's academic library that not having a dedicated person um, to manage their social media, not having a clear picture of which platforms should be included in their social media plan, and not having a clear content strategy really inhibited their ability to make best use of social media in promoting their um, programs and services and the organization overall to their patrons. So I uploaded a pin this week that looks at a five-day content strategy using Tumblr. And I actually pulled this from a social media account um, that I ran a few years ago um, as part of a fandom with another person. And we uh, started as a Twitter account, um, and when we reached a certain number of followers, decided to uh, expand our content. And we selected Tumblr because that is where the majority of the fandom was the majority of our Twitter followers were. Um, it wouldn't have made sense for us necessarily to go to Facebook because that's not where um, the people who were already following our content on Twitter um, were seeking out new content or sharing content. So we elected to use Tumblr. Tumblr is also very user-friendly and offers a um, variety of media for posts, including images, videos, um, audio quotations, which is a text box, and then um, longer for blogging capabilities uh, like WordPress or Blogger. And so we kind of um, decided that uh, we would use Tumblr. We chose the media that made the most sense for us um, to utilize on Tumblr. And then we calendared out um, exactly what content we would upload on certain days. And once we had established that weekly schedule, um, it was very easy to maintain. We could schedule posts um, in advance uh, that would then be released on the date that we had designated, knowing that we were going to post two images um, a week, for example, whenever we came across something that we thought would be interesting future content, um, we could flag it or bookmark it. So it did take a little bit of time up front to decide um, exactly what we were going to do, but I think it ultimately saved us time in the long run and also created um, a continuity between our platforms um, and improved engagement because then if people found something that they thought um, would appeal to us, uh, they would send it to us um, or they would use one of the hashtags that we had also used um, and it ended up being a really rewarding experience and when we uh, eventually shut down our Twitter account we had a little over 11,000 followers so um, it definitely expanded our following um, and engagement as well and um, in the infographic, I also include the importance of um, hashtags, using hashtags uh, within your content strategy. Um, that's kind of the metadata framework piece that the article mentions. Hashtags, in addition to kind of highlighting your content um, and creating a stream of content um, that is discoverable uh, for users, hashtags function as a database. They function as a database for you um, in terms of reviewing content you've already 
uh, used or posted um, or filtering through a collection of a certain kind of content, they also function as a database for your followers. So for example, if you are doing book recommendations on a certain day of the week and you generate an original hashtag um, for those recommendations, one of your followers will flag that particular hashtag and then when they are looking for books to read they can do a simple search on your social media platform um, and come to the entire stream of book recommendations you've made because of your inclusion of that hashtag. So um, as I uh, discussed, we specifically chose Tumblr because it was user friendly, because it's where our followers were, and because it gave us an opportunity to um, include a lot of different kinds of content that made sense for us. Um, but part of a content strategy is really thinking critically about what social media platforms um, make the most sense for your organization. So with that in mind, if you were limited to three social media platforms for your real or imagined library, which three uh, would you choose to use and why? Thank you.